Hello, it's Mark here for GEK. I hope you are all safe and well. Today we are looking at the Mackie EM USB condenser microphone. Uh, we're going to have a little look at it, what it looks like, and then we'll do some sound tests. I'll speak into it, we'll play some guitar through it, and we'll see what we're dealing with. So the cool thing about this mic, and I have my little camera set up down here so you can see it close up, um, is that it's a fairly affordable USB cardioid microphone. Cardioid meaning that it is quite directional, that it, that it, that it captures the sound within a 180 degree kind of polarity field, meaning it's not going to be picking up anything behind it. And it's USB, so it simply plugs straight into your computer. Um, with a USB cable which comes in the box and you're good to go. So at Mackie say it's good for vocals, voiceovers, instruments and podcasts uh, and they have a little funny saying which is uh, voiced for the studio, built for the road and priced for the wallet. Um, so if we take a look at it, it is pretty sturdy, it does feel solid which um, is always a good start. If we look on the bottom you have the USB uh, slot there, uh, the cable comes in the box so you just plug one end of the cable into that, one end in, into your computer and you're good to go. I mean it, it couldn't be simpler. Uh, we can also see a 3.5 millimeter jack input here with a separate uh, independent control here which allows you to monitor independently which is ideal. Moving up you can see we have a gain control here which really just allows you to optimize the output into your computer or into your door. And then above that you have the uh, mute switch um, which does exactly what you imagine it would, it just mutes your signal. And then above that there's a little LED light. When it's red it means you're muted and when it's green it means you're good to go. And then there's a nice little feature right at the top you can see um, it has the cardioid uh, polar pattern. That's the uh, kind of the, the what, what it's going to be capturing. That's a nice little diagram of that. Now if I just grab the box um, so it comes with the USB cable that I mentioned earlier. It then comes with a mic clip and that goes into this little tripod. So the microphone just sits in there and you now have a nice little uh, desk setup um, where you can put it on your desk and you can do all the podcasts and voiceovers that you could ever want. So it's also worth mentioning that this comes with a bunch of software, including Pro Tools, which is very, very cool. I'll put the list up of the other uh, software that comes with it uh, on the screen now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the uh, the microphone and we can have a listen to what it sounds like. As I said, I'll do I'll do some talking and then we'll play some guitar. Um, let's move over into the other room so we can record straight into the computer. So what you're hearing now is the USB microphone plugged straight into my computer um, and then recording into the software. Um, and you know it sounds pretty good. I've got the headphones on so I can monitor it through the uh, separate monitoring control. What I would say, um, and something that I just had a brief two minutes um, that I wasn't sure about, is you do need to go into your preference settings to change a few uh, settings so you can, um, you know, change your input, microphone input, and your output so you can hear, um, all of those kind of things. So don't forget that um, when you plug it in straight away, you, you may not hear anything um, and it may not be working because you just need to go and change the settings. But whenever you plug a microphone in, you're going to have to do that anyway. So let's also, um, I'm going to grab a guitar and we'll see what it sounds like um, when it has to deal with instruments. So there you have it, a affordable USB cardioid microphone that is built really well, sounds really good, and um, you can pretty much take it straight out of the box, put it on its tripod and you're good to go. Uh, but let me know what you think, let me know in the comments box below, have you used it, do you want to try it out? Um, I'm really interested to hear. If you want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the little thumbs up, and I shall see you very soon.